Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Stam Nothing YouTube channel. In today's episode, I will be giving you an introduction to models and then guiding you on where to find these models and how to use them effectively. Within Comfy UI, there are many different types of models available. These models range from text to image, image to image, text to video, image to video, among other concepts. You will also find various models like Stable Diffusion 1.x, Stable Diffusion 2, Stable Diffusion 3, Flux, SDXL and more. If you visit ConfiUI's GitHub page, you will see a full list of supported models. As of now, the supported models include full support for SD1.x, SD2.x, SDXL, Stable Video Diffusion, Stable Cascade, Stable 3 and Stable Audio and also Flux. And ConfiUI also supports language models. Each model has its own unique character Characteristics. Therefore, it's important to work with the specific foundational elements of each model, otherwise you might encounter issues. Most of the time, we'll be working with models based on stable diffusion. Even with instable diffusion, different versions may require different workflows. We have a two different websites to look for models. Hugging Face is an open source AI company known for its platform that provides tools and resources for natural language processing and machine learning. The Hugging Face website offers a variety of resources, including pre-trained models, datasets, and uh, libraries for tasks such as text classification, language translation, sentiment analysis, and more. One of the main features is the model hub, where users can access thousands of pre-trained models for different tasks tune them for specific use cases or share their own models with the community. The Datasets Hub allows users to find and contribute datasets for machine learning projects. Hugging Face also provides transformers and diffusers libraries, which make it easier to implement state-of-the-art models and generative AI tools. The platform is popular among developers and researchers for its user-friendly interface, strong community support, and the ability to deploy models seamlessly. Sweet AI is a community-driven platform focused on sharing and discovering AI-generated art models, particularly for tools like Stable Diffusion. It allows users to upload and share custom models, prompts, and other resources used for generating AI artwork. These models can be fine-tuned versions of popular image generation algorithms, enabling creators to produce more specific styles or themes. Sweet AI platform encourages encourages collaboration and experimentation, providing a space where users can rate, review, and download models to use in their own projects. It caters to both beginners and experienced AI artists, offering tutorials, guides, and a forum for discussing tips and techniques related to AI art generation. The community's contributions help expand the capabilities of generative art tools by making custom models more accessible. So let's try to download a Stable Diffusion 1.5 model or Comfy UI. First of all, I'm going to sweetai.com and the next one I'm going to do sign in and also just selecting my Google social media and, and it accepts. And right now I'm going to go to models. In this section, I'm going to write here the filter and then the time period is all time you can change. The model status is not actually selecting anything. The model types, I'm going to select just checkpoints and the checkpoint type is all. The file format, it doesn't matter. And also I'm going to select right now base model, just stable diffusion 1.5. And then I'm looking for different type of models to produce images in this one. So let's have a look. The first one is Magic Mix Realistic. When I see in here and click in this one and I see the base model 1.5 on the right side and the model just two gigabytes and seeing and you are seeing the generated images as well. 
So the next one is we are seeing in here the descriptions and also their recommended parameters like here. So let's try another one, for example, like realistic vision. I'm going to select this one, realistic vision version 6.0. And in here right now, we are seeing different kind of base models and you have to see just stable diffusion 1.0 as a base model and then you can try it on this website in here to create this one and also we are seeing the recommendations over here for is here recommending different type of things and also go to show more showing different kind of actually prompts okay so that this one is about the photorealistic images but also you can see the content names as well for example like photorealistic anatomical cgi realistic and semi-realistic over here right also let's get find another actually stable diffusion 1.5 model just we have to look for architecture side right so i'm going to write in here architecture and hit that enter button to look for different kind of actually models so right now i'm going to see just checkpoint and also i'm going to see stable diffusion checkpoint as well but some of the top of the left we see the lora uh, lora is actually lowering adaptation to uh see actually to change photographs different kind of styles so that i don't want to look for the loras just checkpoint okay and then go to left side for the filter it's a relevance and also I'm going to select in here stable diffusion 1.5 and also let's have a look another one is checkpoint also I'm going to click the checkpoint as well and as you can see the all of the models just showed to me and we are seeing in here interior ones and also exterior ones as well let's have a look for the architectural side so I really like this one uh, the checkpoint and also we are seeing the best but let's have a look for this one this actually this model architecture real mix and then we are seeing most of the actually positive reviews and we are seeing the download uh, values and also different values as well and right now i'm going to download this model again use it in comfy ui let's try this one and i'm going to click download and wait until it's done we downloaded this model and i'm going to that folder to show this and right click to cut in here and i'm going to confi ui in here confi ui and we see the models inside the models we have to pass in the checkpoints okay in here i'm going to right click and paste here okay when it's done i'm going to open the confi ui in here and as you can see i can't see the different uh, the second model in here right so before we do anything i'm going to refresh this page and right now I can see perfectly architecture real mix version 11 or version 5.1 in here and then click in this one and just go to clip just the positive one and just change the name I don't know I'm just like uh, write the prompt let's see the beautiful prompt before we do anything I'm going to google and write in here stable diffusion okay stable diffusion um our architectural prompts and let's see in here any one of the actually prompt over here the copy this one and go to confi ui again just delete this here the past and text watermark and also blurry image and like that so and let's just start the queue and see the result okay we are seeing perfectly these images right but sometimes you can see the environment it's not very good in here so that it's actually relevant to your model it's not actually shows the perfectly the buildings so but this image is perfectly fine to me and we just created normally just 
prompt to using this model architecture real mix and also you can try different kind of prompts as well i'm just using this openaijourney.com's stable diffusion architecture prompts and here just positive prompts late and past here and just try to different kind of prompts so it's very good some kind of buildings some type of images is perfectly fine i guess and let's see different type of images for example like here the cyberpunk city i'm going to pass this one and cue the prompt okay sometimes actually your image is perfectly fine but sometimes not but and as you can see we are just using the other models to create this kind of architectural images okay in this video we just see the different kind of websites the first one is hugging face the second one is the civet ai to actually create uh, the new images using the different kind of architectural or different type of photographic for example like models to create images like that if you like the video please like subscribe the channel and thank you for watching me see you next one